YouTube, it is Chris here, and we're going to be doing a full test and review of the Survival Axe Elite by Off Grid Tools. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be doing a full test and review of the Survival Axe Elite by Off Grid Tools. Now one quick announcement before we get started is we have our 50,000 subscriber giveaway where we just passed 50,000 subscribers and we're giving away $5,000 worth of awesome gear and prizes. So don't forget to go check out our channel and check out that video and enter for your chance to win one of the epic prizes we've got especially for you. Now, for those of you who follow a company known as Innovation Factory, they launched a Kickstarter for this where it was previously known as the Little Trucker. Now, that original Kickstarter was extremely successful and it made a lot of money and they got it fully funded. Now, I didn't even read about them and find out until it was in their pre-order stage, which was still about a year and a half ago. And I pre-ordered mine and I still actually haven't gotten mine in yet. This is the one that a lot of people are seeing that came from the most recent Mission 28 Battle Box. It's the same exact model, it's just they got it um, a little earlier. And I want to say it was a few thousand models got sent out through them. Now on the card it says it features 30 tools, it's made of 1055 high carbon steel, and the handle is glass reinforced nylon. Now according to what it does, these are all of the tools. It has a locking and replaceable uh, Milwaukee um, saw blade. And it's got a bunch of other tools. So it's got a heat treated and resharpenable hatchet edge, which is kind of silly the way they actually said that. And it's got all these different tools, can openers, box opener, pry bar. Now, most of the items that would actually end up being used are probably the actual, the ax, the, um, the gas shutoff valve, the folding saw, the hammer, the nail pull, maybe the spanner wrench, and possibly the little pry bar right here, and the glass breaker. So those are like the top tools you would probably use this for because of the fact of the convenience of having separate tools for some other stuff. However, if you needed this as a one tool option, in theory, this is kind of amazing of how many tools that kind of fit on this one item. Now don't worry, we're gonna be going through an entire gauntlet of testing, but I gotta let you know what happened during that testing. Now, because this is toted as a survival axe elite, from Off Grid Tools, and this is a, in all reality, a $90 tool, because that's what I paid for mine, that I still haven't gotten yet. Um, well, we broke it. And some pieces were kind of already broken when we first got them. So a few of these um, situations are a little disappointing. Now, right off the bat, you are gonna notice, right here on this hammer end, you're gonna see the uh, nail pull or the claw is actually broken off. Doesn't exist. Now, we spent two dollars on a half of a cinder block in one brick just because it's kind of expensive to do a bunch of videos and get a lot of test equipment so we spend two bucks and that two dollars and very hard but yet extremely brittle because we all know bricks that are standalone until they're filled with um, mortar and cinder blocks as they stand are pretty brittle you can drop them from about a foot in the air on concrete and you'll shatter them completely so um, they are very brittle and very breakable. But at any rate, that simple task of crushing them with the hammer actually came into contact with the claw just a little bit. And we were hitting, if you look where most of the impacts are, because if you look, there's not that many marks on here. We didn't hit the concrete slab at the bottom. We didn't, we weren't doing anything abusive. 
we were testing this in an urban survival situation. We got to actually go to a full on training course where firefighters actually have to do realistic training, things they actually have to do uh, to save people's lives. So since this is toted as a survival act, we wanted to see what it can do. So we brought it through and all the testing we did is all the testing we filmed. And um, well, some of the things I'm worried about, and this is very fixable, but it's okay, you'll see there are a lot of freaking edge damage on this, but I expected that because we actually put this through glass and some other techniques. So we uh, we figured we we're gonna come up with a little bit of damage, but that's not too bad. This is something on a work sharp or a grinder, you can take that out pretty quickly. But uh, that's something we're very disappointed in is the fact that the ax head broke. Now, the final piece is something that we mentioned um, earlier about the saw blade in the battle box video, but we're gonna be rolling in that footage here in just a minute when we go through the test footage. So we're gonna be breaking down some of the test footage and uh, letting you kind of check that out. But overall, most of the tools did a good job. It was just, I truly feel like if you as a customer had this happen to you and this broke while you were using this in a life-saving or a workday environment, you'd be pretty pissed off considering you pissed, paid a lot of money. And the problem that I wanna share with you guys is the folding saw. Now, it does say right here, now you need to listen to this. It says locking locking saw blade it's a reciprocating saw it's a locking and replaceable blade it's locking overall we like this tool for the most part now out of the 30 tools there's only one issue we've noticed and for this one particular tool we find it could be what we'd say a catastrophic potential failure uh, at least with this particular sampling i don't know if there it's a widespread thing or how the locking mechanism works but right here is where the saw blade actually is designed to come out now this interiors right in here is plastic and that's uh no bueno already but if you pay attention all you got to do is tap it while it's locked now it's supposed to be locked and it'll come right out so um, while you're really getting into something and sawing like we uh like my buddy pointed out this could have a tendency to actually fold up on you and be a dangerous hazard or break and fall apart if you're getting any real work done in an urban survival situation. Now overall, all in all, the saw technically still works. We did, we were able to use it successfully several times. Uh, we were able to saw a few pieces of plywood. We got through a few two by fours. We got through glass in a vehicle. If we had to do an extrication of a individual who was injured in a vehicle and this was the only tool we had, as a good Samaritan kind of situation, or it was a family member and we had to save them, things of that nature. So the only thing that physically broke, that physically broke was the nail claw, but that kind of aggravates me. And now there is another nail pull, so there's kind of a little, little bit of redundancy there, but it's a little frustrating because uh, something broke under not super harsh testing environments. It's stuff that this tool from the title, the survival, label the full tank construction the beefy heavy nature of this tool this is not a light tool it's like one pound seven ounces or something like that it's a pretty hefty beast and it already broke and 1055 uh medium carbon steel is supposed to be a very durable and tough steel it doesn't have the best edge retention and you can have some blade rolling like we do here that's easily fixable it should have bent before it cracked or broke and the fact that it broke it was kind of disappointing so i hope if they do a redesign on this they make this hammerhead area right here like down here start a little bit sooner and make it a little thicker i'll take the extra weight and then the actual hammerhead or that claw is instead of making it only like two millimeters thick make it three or four millimeters thick like a lot more sturdier very similar to an actual real hammer you would buy from a hardware store well, I hope you guys enjoyed all that test footage we did with the crates and um, all the glass breaking and the cinder blocks and the bricks and really kind of showing you what this tool is capable of. Now, the base concept of this as an idea, because I, I still feel this is not 100% ready to go to market. I still feel they should do a metal locking mechanism, make sure this lock actually locks securely and have a thicker hammerhead. Other than that, I think this tool will be ready to go. It's about 95% of the way ready. Um, it's a really awesome concept. Like if they get this thing perfected, it'll be magnanimous. However, because of the breakage and the unsecure blade, 
I unfortunately, despite the fact that I love the concept and we did have fun testing with it in the previous video and in this uh, video footage that you're seeing now, I cannot give this my recommendation. I do not recommend this tool as it stands. I think it needs several improvements and it may be an unpopular opinion to some, but for a $90 tool or even a tool that costs $77 on Amazon, which I'll have the link below for anybody who wants to buy it or get some more information on it. Um, if you're not planning on using it hard use, I mean, it's probably ready to go. And if you can look past the locking mechanism on it, that's fine. But um, I know with the manufacturing and the amount of orders they've gotten for this, with the funding they got to procure this, they could have easily made those improvements and not skimped, especially for the fact that this tool is made in the USA, which is, makes it all the more disappointing. But all in all, let me know down in the video comments what you think of this tool, the Off-Grid Survival Axe Elite, AKA the Little Trucker by Innovation Factory. Drop your comments down below and let me know what you think. If you're excited about the prospect of a new version of this and you're excited about our 50,000 subscriber giveaway, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks. But that just about does it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.